One of the biggest problems for me as a cold water surfer I find is drying my boots. You have to wear these things because the water is so cold. In the best of conditions, they're not the best things for drying. Unlike a wetsuit, when you've got thick boots in particular, it means you can't turn them inside out and dry both sides like that. Whilst putting wet boots on the next day or the next week is annoying, it's actually more than that, that if they stay wet, they can start to smell. Um, that bacteria inside is obviously not healthy and it's not good for the materials either. You want to be drying your boots out as best as possible. So I have developed my own technique, my own method of doing this. I would like to say that generally you do read with wetsuits uh, to drip dry everything and my technique I don't drip dry them. So if you're not comfortable with not following the manufacturer's instructions, don't listen to what I'm going to say. If however you are sick of your boots smelling uh, and looking for a way to dry them, here's a way you can try it. It certainly dried the boots faster for me, which has kept the home less smelly and the wife happy. So my tip really is quite simple. It's really important that when you're back from a surf, you rinse and wash your wetsuit and wetsuit accessory in clean water. Obviously the sea isn't the cleanest of places. Salt is not good for the neoprene seams or anything on them. So get them washed in clean water. Uh, my next advice is then to hang it, drip dry it. Um, obviously if you can do that, uh, some people are in situations where they can't, if you're in an apartment you've not got a washing line or if it's raining outside or whatever, there's obviously no point in doing that. So sometimes you end up having to skip that stage. I do recommend before doing my tip, you do get the bulk of the water off them first, whether that's leaving them drip dry for half a day or a day, just to get a bit of the water off there so they're not soaking wet. Once you get them to a point where they're not wet and they're damp, my tip is newspaper. It's something I've seen people doing for years um, with shoes if they're out in the rain. Uh, I'm a cyclist, if I was cycling in the rain, I put newspaper in my shoes and it just makes them dry faster. The paper absorbs the water, your shoes are dry sooner, um, everyone's happy. What you need to do is take the paper apart, take a sheet, screw it up in a bowl and put it in the boot. One thing I would say to do, don't stuff the boot too fill, you don't want to stretch the neoprene. Um, kind of put it in there so it is touching the edges of the boot, but not so much that it's making the boot bulge more than is natural for the boot. And then personally, if it's dry outside, would leave them outside. There's no reason why if it's dry outside you couldn't leave them hanging on a washing line, so it's drip drying and absorbing the water. However, I often find myself in the situation where I have to bring them inside because it's wet outside. If I do that, I'll pop them next to a radiator normally, not too close and not on top because then they will start to smell the moisture that extra heat from the radiator won't do the smell any good it'll circulate around the house and it's just not pleasant avoid it um, it's also not good for the neoprene to be putting it on a radiator heating it uh, so when I say next to a radiator I don't mean next to it as in on it I mean at some distance if possible um, I just find it somewhere that keeps them out of the way while the newspaper is doing the drying. Um, if you really want them to dry quickly and you have loads of spare newspapers, I recommend maybe leaving it for a day, taking the newspaper out and putting some fresh newspaper in there. Whilst it still takes a while to dry, it's certainly much faster than just leaving them to drip dry or putting them back in your surf box. I was finding initially that I'd leave them all week, get to the weekend and they'd still be wet from the week before. So while this isn't foolproof and 100% perfect, it doesn't dry them instantly, I find that it dries them much sooner than it would do if you use using the traditional methods. Um, as I said at the start of the video, please don't use this method if you want to do exactly as the manufacturers say. Uh, I know a lot of wetsuit companies do just talk about drip drying. I can't myself see how newspaper inside the boot would damage the product, but I wouldn't like to give that advice either because it's something that I'm not qualified on. Um, this is just how I personally dry my boots, and if you're having the same problems I was having, um, I certainly don't think it's a bad thing to try. At the end of the day, going back to your boots week after week, them still being wet and never drying is bad for your boots in the first place. So my view was that if I tried this, so at least it could dry them up, and it does dry them up sooner. But when you get to the weekend, not only are you putting dry boots on, they don't smell as much, it'll preserve the boot for longer, um, and it'll save you money. If you like this video, please press subscribe. There'll be more tips, news, reviews, and opinions up in the future. By pressing subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Uh, if you've got any tips of your own for drying wetsuits or wetsuit accessories, pop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say, uh, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.